there got my attention. I'm wondering why he was crying. I don't want to go to school, he told his my mother. So I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends <coughs> and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swings. Please, may I stay home with you? How many of you go like this? Here's a little signal. How many of you thought, kind of felt like that this morning? I kind of did. I was like, oh. This is something new. It's a little bit scary, but it's okay. We can have that feeling, and it's still good. I did it. This is right. I, some of you don't. Some of you are just like, I got this. And that's good, too. Yep, that's what makes us different and special. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. See, your mommies and daddies kind of reach down and maybe they, like, give you a little quick hug or they touch your face with their face. Do they kind of put their cheek on you sometimes? That's what Chester's mom did for him. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. How many of you think that's going to happen to you? I know it's going to happen to me. I've done this 20 times. Every time I start a school year, I get excited. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. What? Read that again. We'll make your nights at school. Raccoons go to school at night? Yeah. They do. Yeah. They're nocturnal. They sleep during the day before awake. That was the silly part. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. You know how to show me you look interested? <gasps> interesting faces. A secret? What kind of a secret? How many of you like secrets?
choose. Just pick any spot to make your stay heart. Come on, you. Uh, that's it, Gianna. Is that right? Perfect. Got it. All right. That night, Chester stood in front of his stool and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand off. Oh. Anybody know what he's going to do? I know. Oh, Tonight, he's going to what do you think he's going to do? Yeah. Whisper to a friend. There's a friend behind you. Whisper to her. All right. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if you got the author's oh, ideas. I was right. There I was go. right. No, let's, no, I said you let's read and see. If you think you have it right, will you go like this? And let your hand knock into it. Here we go. <laughs> Chester <laughs> took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her her fingers, familiar fingers, into a fan that he, he knows her really well. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. I love this story. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. How do you feel when you're dancing? Show me your face. When you're dancing, you think he's happy when you dance away? Katie's got it. All right. Uh, Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. Oh my goodness, look at his time at school. I almost said his day, but it's not his day, it's his night. Does that look like some does that look like some fun? Oh, I cannot wait for you to tell mommies and daddies. So mommies and daddies, we're gonna give you a big huge kiss because you look like you're having a hard time we are. And can you kiss mommy or daddy's hand for them if they're here? Will you go really fast? And then you say, shoo, I've got learning to do today. Oh no no. Can you tell them that? Okay, just be nice about it. We do have lots of stuff to do. Can you tell them really fast? 